Hey everyone, it's Danielle Taylor with Keller Williams Realty here on the beautiful Outer Banks. And today I thought I would talk to you about an often forgotten piece of the purchasing process, and that is closing costs. So everybody thinks about their down payment when they're thinking about how much money they need to bring to closing, and sometimes they forget about all of the closing costs. So a general rule of thumb that you can use is 2% of the purchase price. That'll give you a rough idea for budgeting purposes of what your closing costs will be. Um, closing costs can be comprised of a few different things. So here's some ideas. If you have a loan, you're going to have a fee for your appraisal. So that can be upwards of $1,000. That's something to think about. All of your inspections, home inspection, pest and termite inspection, septic inspection, those can all be in there. Survey, so surveying, uh, getting a brand new survey for your property, always a great idea, always recommended, that can be in there. You've got title insurance. So you want insurance on that title um, in case anything down the road should happen, you wanna know that you've got that. You're gonna have probably a credit report that needs to be pulled if you're getting a loan. You're going to have potentially some fees from your lender, origination charges, uh, buy down points, things like that. Um, there'll be document prep fees. And finally, there will be attorney fees. You will use an attorney to close in North Carolina. And so that attorney is going to handle the process of finalizing all the documentation, having everything notarized, doing that. You're gonna have that fee. Um, and don't forget your escrows. So again, if you have a loan involved, you're going to have to escrow usually a year's worth of, or at least a few months worth of insurance, um, taxes, those kinds of things. And finally, don't forget prorations. What's prorations, Danielle? Remember, at closing, you're going to get prorated on things like property tax. You're responsible for the portion of the year that you own the property. The seller's responsible for the portion that they did. That's called proration. Those will be on the closing statement, as well as things like homeowner's dues. So if you're in an area with homeowner's association dues, those need to be prorated between buyer and seller. So hopefully this helps. I know it can get overwhelming, but remember that's why I'm here. I'm here to help. Um, but just remember to budget for those closing costs when you're creating your plan. We hope you have a great day.